And so, like every project you have seen on this channel, I start using Fusion 360 to design the parts to be 3D printed. I design the logo and create spaced profile inside to create the slot for the covers and thickness of the part to be printed. Then I continued by extruding the edge of the apple from the sketch by about 5 mm. I positioned the LED strips to determine how many LEDs I need to use, trying to distribute them evenly in the free spaces. I created the cover in white PLA, making sure to leave a gap of about 0.5 mm. This measurement depends on the precision of your printer. I started drawing the base that supports the apple, inserting all the electronic parts, the ESP8266 TM1637 display and the TTP223 touch sensor. I also included two holes for the screw that we hold the base and the top together. And so, at the end of the CAD modeling, this was the result. If you enjoy the project you find in my playlist, I invite you to consider joining the community of channel supporters. This way you will be able to see the new content in advance and browse the backstage and preparatory phases of each video like the one you will see today. Building a video is an incredible adventure. I used Prusa Slicer to prepare the file for printing and position each individual pieces as you can see to get the best possible print without supports. For 3D printing I used black and white PLA filament and a 0.4 mm nozzle. There are no parts subjected to mechanical stress so you can use parameters for economical print. This is the project wiring diagram. The TM1637 is a 7-segment display that can be controlled individually using an Arduino library. Including the brightness regulation, it is connected to the ESP8266 microcontroller via the clock and data pins that is D5 and D6. The LED stripe is connected to pin D1 and the TTP223 is a tiny touch sensitive board that can be programmed to be monostable or bistable simply by following this table and shorting the two paths. The TTP223 is connected to the pin D1 of the ESP8266 microcontroller. These are all the 3D printed pieces that make up this project. This is the black PLA base with hole for attaching to the support and the holes for the LED cable. The white PLA cover with a raised section for attaching it to the base. The black PLA support where we'll attach the ESP8266 display and touch sensor. And this is a support to help align the LED stripes while soldering the wires. The WS2812 LED stripes pay attention to the arrow indicating the direction. The two screws and bolts that hold the lamp to the support. We begin soldering the strips in sequence. Pay attention to the direction of the arrow. Once the wires are soldered, we do a test to see if everything works. 
Now we begin gluing the stripes to the base of the apple, trying to space them evenly. After finish the soldering, I apply heat shrink tubing to hold the wires in place. And this is the result after completing the soldering and untouching the stripes. And now we will use the skew to secure the apple to the base. I soldered the necessary wires to each electronic component. Before inserting all the components into the support, I tested the LEDs display and touch sensor to make sure everything was working properly. I use hot glue to secure the touch sensor and microcontroller. 